Hi Chelsea fans, Tuesday the 27th of October and this is all the Chelsea news in just a five minute video. Four important stories to feature today from Ruben Loftus-Cheek to Reese James to Tony Rudiger and possible changes for tomorrow. Let's get cracking. So first up, Ruben Loftus-Cheek, my future is still at Chelsea and this is featured on Football 365 and despite the fact that he's initiated and joined Fulham on loan for the season, he is still believing that 100% is not a permanent move and this is his future. It is Chelsea and he said this, I was the one that initiated it. I felt like it was paramount that I played a lot of football this season. With this strength in depth for Chelsea and how I was feeling, I was not so sure being out for so long that when I had the opportunity that I could play fantastically and hold down a place in the starting 11. I was not 100% I could do that because I need to build my confidence back up. That was basically the theme of the chat. The gaffer agreed on that and things went on from there. I still see my future at Chelsea. I believe in my ability 100%. This is obviously not a permanent move. This is a platform for me to go and express myself and find that form that was shown a couple of seasons ago. I believe in my ability and we'll see where that takes me. I think the move for Loftus-Cheek is perfect. The only way he's going to get past a mental block about pushing himself 100% after that awful Achilles injury is by playing football week in and week out and doing exactly what he said, building his confidence back up. So to Rhys James and Jamie Carragher. Talking last night on Sky Sports, as featured here on the Chelsea Chronicle, claims that Rhys James has to be Chelsea's first choice right back moving forward. Rhys James, along with the rest of the Chelsea players, have flown across to Russia for the game tomorrow to get a training session in this evening before the game. And Jamie Carragher was talking of the situation with both Azpilicueta and Rhys James fighting for the right back role. Carragher was focused on the fact that Chelsea have adopted a three at the back policy against their main rivals for top six finishes with Cesar Azpilicueta being drafted in as a centre back with Rhys James coming in as a right wing back. And he said this, for me Rhys James has got to be the first choice right back now ahead of Azpilicueta. This back three system suits them. It gets Aspi in the team, the team's best defender, and Rhys James. Both in the team, we saw what happened against Man United, and they played well. Is the three at the back with Rhys James as a wing back the way forward? Or is it four at the back with Rhys James or Aspi? Who would you choose in a back four? It's clear a back three suits Aspilicueta, but is that the way forward? So to the big news that broke on social media yesterday. Frank Lampard ready to bring Antonio Rudiger in from the cold after successful heart-to-heart -heart talks between him and the Chelsea defender. As we know, Tony Rudiger has not been involved at all this season. It started along with the FA Cup final where he sat on the bench and it's headed into this season. It looks as though that Rudiger would be leaving. He tried to force his way out of Chelsea towards the end of the window. Nothing came about and he's still here leaving five centre-backs at the club when Fakeo Tomori turned down a, a last-minute loan deal to West Ham with literally 10 minutes to spare. Rudiger's not been involved at all, but he still plays for Germany and has played quite well. And it looks as though that with the next couple of weeks coming up with plenty of football, Champions League, Premier League games coming thick and fast, Tony Rudiger has sought out a meeting with Frank Lampard to try and sit down and discuss the situation as to why he's not playing, what he needs to do to get back into the team, and to sort out potential differences. And according to various reports, they've sorted out their problems and Frank is now prepared to integrate him back into the first team. Does Tony Rudiger deserve to come straight back in or not? So to the Metro and Pat Nevin, who has tipped Frank Lampard to recall three players ahead of the game tomorrow against Krasnodar, who are supposedly the weakest team in the group. Pat Nevin has tipped Frank Lampard to recall Tammy Abraham, Mason Mount, and Matteo Kovacic for the game, and he said this. The start 11 for this one will take a great deal of thought from Frank. Having drawn with Sevilla, three points will be very handy here, but he has to be careful not to push the players too far this early in the season. I'm sure he won as many youthful, energetic and tireless legs on the field as possible, so I'd not be surprised if the young guns, such as Tammy Abraham and Mason Mount, are used from the start. Then of course there's the likes of Matteo Kovacic who could really do with another 90 minutes pretty soon. He should also have plenty of energy to spare. We have to see what Frank Lampard's going to do, but I think there will be plenty of changes from the game against Man United. I guess we have to wait and see what happens. Just finally guys, this is my website, chelseadaft.org. 
all the video content and the written word are on here. Make sure you bookmark it and check it out, chelseadarf.org. So guys, the five minute news is back and that is today's five minute news bulletin. Let me know what you think about the video and anything discussed in the video in the comments section below. Smash the like button for me, subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss my videos come out. I'm going to be trying to get more focused on these five minute news updates and bulletins because let's face it, if you're going to watch a video for Chelsea News, you want it short, sweet, to the point, and then we can do extended videos after. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of the idea in the comments section. Have a good Tuesday. See you all tomorrow.